Hello everyone, this is Madhusudan Raj, your host for today. So today I'm in front of you to very quickly discuss one biggest problem that Indians are facing off late and that economic problem is inflation. So as we all know, the prices of petrol in different cities of India are rising very rapidly. For example, in many cities like Bombay or uh, Delhi or Chennai, Calcutta, even in Surat, the prices have already crossed the 100 rupees per litre mark. I remember 20 years ago when I was a student, I used to buy petrol at something like 20 or 23 rupees per litre. So in the last 20 years itself, the price of petrol have gone up by five times. Not only the prices of petrol are rising, but also prices of another essential product in everybody's budget. Food are rising rapidly. And that is the reason why so many Indians are concerned about it. Everybody it wants the answer, the solution of inflation problem. And that is what I'm going to provide you today very quickly. Because, you know, if you understand inflation, it is not very difficult phenomena to tackle. In fact, most of the economic problems are not at all difficult to tackle. The only thing that is required to solve them is the political will. I will tell you what, what I mean when I say the only thing required is political will. Not only the problem of uh, higher prices is hitting the Indians very hard, but also falling income level because we know that last year this government imposed a very strict lockdown throughout the country and because of the and because of that so many people have lost their jobs and so many businesses are suffering because they were you know forced to shut down for a very long period of time and that lockdown is still going on in many places they have not opened up economy completely and with that interest rates are also falling we know that uh, for most of the average you know middle class indians Putting their money into the bank is one of the safest options so far and that's where they you know, used to earn a little bit of interest and continue to pay their monthly bills. But even now that option is being taken away from the Indians by the Indian Central Bank RBI because supposedly to tackle the slowdown caused by this uh, thoughtless lockdown, RBI has reduced the interest rate. They have been in reducing the interest rates uh, since long because remember economy was you know into recession and depression even before the lockdown started so interest rates have come down historically at historical low levels of four percent or five and a half percent so you know running this high double digit inflation real interest rate is negative so most of the people are worried that their income is falling on the one side and the cost is rising cost of living is rising rapidly yeah. so indians are basically crossed in between these two mighty problems but today i'm going to very quickly talk about what inflation is and how we can uh, completely eradicate inflation it is uh, i will not be able to discuss the issues like why inflation like many macroeconomists mainstream macroeconomists you know tell us that why some kind of inflation is good for economic growth that is complete uh, that is not true that is a complete lie because no amount of inflation is going to be good for anyone uh, not for economic growth not for people not for businesses not for sellers not for anyone but that i will not discuss today i will talk about that maybe in some future you know video analysis of mine so let's start with uh, defining inflation because it is very important that whatever phenomena we are discussing or we are trying to solve we must understand it properly first so I will advise all of my reader, all of my viewers to quickly, you know, download one page article of Henry Hazlitt uh, to understand what I'm going to talk about because my talk is basically based on this one page article. The article's name is inflation in one page. Yes, you heard that right. Inflation in one page. So understanding inflation is not at all difficult in one page Hazlitt very nicely, you know, un you know, discusses what inflation is, why inflation takes place, what are the facts of inflation and how we can stop the inflation immediately. So let's discuss the definition first because once we understand the phenomena it is as good as solving it. Okay so here I go. Inflation is an increase in the quantity of money and credit. That's it. So whenever the quantity 
supply of money and bank credit again i will not be able to discuss how the banks create inflation if you want to know you quickly google fractional reserve banking system or i will advise you to go and read murray rothbard's very important book mystery of banking or alternatively you can attend you know my upcoming workshop in august on august 15 uh, on money and banking which i conduct under my institute mises india so inflation is nothing but increase in the quantity of money and credit its chief consequence is rising prices now mainstream economists define inflation as rise in the general price level that is wrong now why they do that so that we never understand what is causing inflation and we focus on the wrong people so when you say that rising prices is inflation then you are going to blame speculators and holders and sellers and you know some kind of you know supply shock or whatever for rising prices that is to deflect the attention from the real culprit and that is the indian central bank rbi because inflation is increasing in the quantity of money and credit only one institution is responsible for creating all the inflation in india and that is the rbi why because rbi has the monopoly over the issuance of the supply of money they are the ones who have the monopoly over the money supply in india they are the ones who print you know rupees in india nobody else can create money like that if we do that then that is you know the so called crime of counterfeiting so inflation is increase in the quantity of money and credit and indian central bank rbi is solely responsible for generating inflation in india now sometimes they can you know print money rapidly and at that time the consequence of rising prices will you know have a higher percentage sometimes sometimes they slow down because the prices heat up so much but no matter what they do every time they print money they are creating inflation and one of the chief effects of creating more money is rising prices rising prices per se is not inflation now second point why rbi is printing rupees now all the other issues like it is it is needed for growth i cannot discuss right now it is not needed for growth a limited supply of money whatever stock is right now available that is enough for any kind of growth development activities there is no need to print fresh money for anything whatever is available is optimum but why they do that because governments they need money to spend all the time and remember rbi is government you know bank it is wholly owned by the government of india another myth that the mainstream economists and other people who are supporter of the state they spread is that the rbi is an autonomous institution which is not true rbi is not an autonomous institution rbi basically is wholly owned by the government of india you can go visit the rbi's web page and about us under about us section you can read all these things the history of rbi so government who owns the rbi because governments are always running budget deficits they are they are just spending money because to win votes what we call the welfare warfare state right suppose it welfare schemes and it only you know you know creates welfare for you know state officials they only benefit out of that and those people who are very well connected with the government with the system every one of us you know common people we are hurt by this printing process as you know we face high prices as a chief consequence of uh, inflation like that is printing more money so because government is running budget deficits to fill that deficit rbi prints money and transfers that money into government's account and that's where the profligate spending takes place from because government can never cover all their expenditure by just using tax money that's never going to be enough so that's the reason why they have created this central bank which prints money for themselves and then they can go on keep on spending on different kind of you know what we call bundugals or you know schemes that will help politicians win votes whether they are welfare or then ultimately they are going to spend on their wars which again strengthen the government so that is the chief cause you know of inflation inflation is printing more money welfare state warfare state is responsible governments you know higher deficits are responsible because remember governments never run balanced budget not in the indian government i have never seen indian government balancing its budget okay uh, so that's the chief cause 
so what is if now these are the two important points that we just need to keep on our mind keep it very simple i'm not going into anything else inflation is increasing the quantity of money money and credit chief causes government's budget deficit expenditure profligate expenditure of government so what is the solution of stopping inflation first of all we need the government to balance its budget that means they must stop their extravagant you know expenditures the size of the government must shrink instead of that we are saying that the present government has just increased the size of its cabinet to you know historically big amount we know where the money is going to come from that is going to be paid by all of us in in terms of inflation and the neighbor inflation is tax nothing more than that so the government needs to balance its budget first of all bring down its size cut down the expenditure dismantle all the bureaucracies that are they have you know you know erected to supposedly control and you know manage the life they cannot do that we don't need that kind of government interference into the economy and society once they cut down the you know deficit they balance the budget rbi will not have to print any more new money and that's how you stop inflation if you stop rbi from printing even one rupee single rupee that stops the inflation right there and overnight the prices of everything will start to fall because now money supply has stabilized everybody knows that this is the money supply it's not going to increase so basically inflation what happens is prices are not rising the rupee which is our money its value is falling so products are not becoming costly they are not becoming dear is the rupee that is becoming cheap day by day it's buying less and less that's inflation if you change your perspective from price you know side to the you know value of money side the purchasing power of money side then you will understand inflation properly it's not rising prices not products becoming dearer it's it's the money that is becoming cheaper is the rupee that is losing value that's inflation and it loses value because rbi is printing more money every time the supply goes up the purchasing power of rupee comes down and we can buy less and less because of that so the solution of inflation is government stop its spending immediately balance the budget overnight without any kind of excuses and rbi we should stop rbi we should pressurize force the rbi to stop printing money overnight once they do that the prices of everything will start coming down and that's when the real progress will take place so our enemy is the rbi rbi is single handedly responsible for creating inflation and of course because government is the boss of rbi the government is responsible for inflation all right so if you understand this much then we can solve the problem of inflation quickly all right so i'm going to stop uh, here today maybe in future in my analysis i'll discuss more about inflation but this is what it is inflation is the rise in the increase in the quantity of money and credit and rbi is single handedly responsible for it because government runs you know budget deficit they spend money like crazy ex- you know extravagant expenditure and because of that is responsible for rbi printing more money so if you want to stop inflation then we have to pressurize the government to balance its budget and the best thing is to dismantle the rbi if you cannot do that immediately tell them to stop printing any more money once they do that inflation comes down to 0% okay it's not that difficult as i said Thank you very much for watching and I'll come you know in front of you in future to discuss more issues. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.